Welcome to our video demonstration on Glogster. I'm Kimberly Williams and today I'm going to give you a quick tour of this free program that will help you and your students create custom posters. Now of course these posters will be web-based and they are lots of fun to work with. We are also hearing a lot of high praise for Glogster because students really like the custom features and it's a great way for them to express themselves creatively. It's also a nice way for teachers and students to present new ideas or research findings while keeping up to date with Web 2.0. Another great feature of Glogster is it has resources specifically for education. If we click on this tab right here, we'll find ideas and inspirations and even some sample Glogs to help get you started. But, for our purposes, we're just going to do a quick walkthrough, a sneak peek at some of the templates they have available, and then I'll pick out a couple of elements, walk you through them, and kind of help get you started. Getting started is actually quite easy. In order to create a free public account, we simply fill in these three boxes here. You just want to create a username, then add in your email, and then of course create a password, and then simply click on create account. Right away it'll take you to a series of Glog templates to help you get started. So you'll want to take a look at some of these, and if you hit this arrow key here you'll see that you have a few more options, and they cover quite a bit from project logs, which I really like, uh, resume logs, which I think are pretty interesting, uh, video ones that are dedicated just to videos, creating a photo album, all different kinds of themes. And, you know, don't be worried if you see some of these that look kind of cartoonish or a little bit silly. On any of these, you can change out the graphics, you can update the pictures, you can change out the background. They're very flexible. So what you want to do is just look for something like, say, a video template that you really like. Uh, if you know that you would like to put a collection of images together, Think about the content that you have that you want to work with or, or put into this type of presentation and kind of start from there. I think we'll go ahead and, and look at this uh, video blog because I think that videos are pretty engaging and they're kind of nice to work with. The video tool in this program is also uh, pretty easy to add in. It connects right with YouTube, which I like, so it makes it uh, kind of simple for plugging something in that you like. And this is basically the editing. Uh, section. So anytime we click on anything here, we're going to see a series of tools come up for us. And let's go ahead and start by looking at the, the video box. Uh, so we can see in this particular presentation style, we can add in several different types of videos. Uh, we can also delete one if we want to create a space there. Uh, or we can uh, make a copy and simply uh, drag that back up. So we have a lot of flexibility here we can make it stack a little bit. So in other words, if I want something to go on top of something or behind it, I can click these buttons and it will either kind of fall in behind an image or go on top of it. And then of course we can move them around. I can twist and turn them and I can even resize them a little bit if I want to do that. So there's quite a bit that we can actually do. Uh, but of course most important is the video that we decide to use. So we do that by simply clicking on this video tab here and we can go straight into YouTube and search through YouTube. So let's say we want to do a TED Talk. I like TED Talks. And we'll pick Elizabeth Gilbert. All we have to do is select her and hit use it and there it is. Very, very, very simple. And we can actually adjust it a little bit. We can click where we want it to autoplay of course, if you have a poster with lots of videos, you don't want all of them to autoplay. So maybe you want one to start with, you can go ahead and do that. I can adjust the volume for her and then just click Apply, and then it's ready to go. So the video feature is actually quite simple. You also notice that we have text options as well. And if you click on the text button here, it'll let you make some changes to that. So if we double click, we'll see that this kind of disappears a little bit. But what you'll want to do is highlight this. And then this lets us make some changes. We can change the font. We can change the color if we want to. And we can even go in 
and change the text to nice video. Whatever it is that you're comfortable with, it's a pretty simple feature to work with. So you can go ahead and simply adjust that template from there. And then you close out whenever you're done. And similar features that we talked about here uh, that will let you move this around. You can put it on top of something. You can make it go behind something. Uh, so again, very, very flexible. You also may decide that you want an image in here. Now, because I picked this one, we'll see that it doesn't really have space for an image. But it's not a problem. We can create one. So we've cleared out a little bit of space. Now we can go up here to our Tools feature. And we can click on Images. Now, I've already downloaded a couple of images, but it's no different than if you simply want to upload an image to an email file. It comes straight off of your computer, uh, and then you basically create your own little library of images. And so you want to just simply upload an image, select the image you like, and just click Use It. Then you're free to drag it over wherever you want to place it. You can close that out here. And then you can kind of play around with it a little bit. Um, you can add a frame. And they've got all different styles here. We'll just do a paper one just for this purpose. And voila, we've got something simple here. So already we were able to adjust this template. We were able to add in a video, add in an Im image, change out the text as we saw fit. But there's two other features I'd like to show you. If you'll notice, there's a lot of graphics here. And I think that the students really like graphics. And some of them are even animated, as you can see in this particular case. But we can also change these out as well. So we'll simply click on this, click on the graphics feature. And don't be freaked out by this initial <laughs> uh, set of graphics. I know I was. They have some uh, more subdued ones as well. <laughs> And so you can simply click on a paper clip. You can go down here and kind of dig through. They have cute little origami ones. And whichever ones you like, you just use it. We can make it a little bit bigger, make it stand out a little bit, uh, make it kind of drop behind some of these other images so it's more in the background. And so as you can see, it's very, very simple to use. And then the last little feature that I wanted to show you is the wall. They have a nice tile feature uh, for this particular template. But if you go over to this gallery, you'll see that you've got a lot of other options that you can use as well. So we can simply do something a little bit more like paper, uh, for something with music, those are options. Something kind of cartoonish, cute, uh, even solid colors if we want to create something like that. We just pick out whatever we like and we use it. When we're done, we can preview it, and it'll kind of give us an idea of what we have. And we can continue to make edits by going back to Edit. And of course, when we're finished, we just hit Save. Very, very simple. It will automatically assign a link to us. And it will even create tags if for some reason people want to search for this. We can share it to a Facebook or Twitter account, uh, which might be nice if, if you have a Facebook page for, say, your classroom. And then, of course, it gives you this link here. So as a student, I could create this particular presentation and either post it on a discussion board, email it directly to my teacher, or if I'm in a classroom that's wired, I can go ahead and share this with my classmates and, and talk about it as I'm presenting it, kind of as a nice backdrop. So I hope you'll see that this is actually a pretty easy program to use, and there are lots of ways to adjust it and kind of make it your own. And I hope you'll find that these simple steps will help you get started. Thank you for your attention. Love.